my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my nail routine. I've gotten a lot of requests to do this video and since I'm about to do my nails, I thought I'm just gonna go ahead and film it, but you know, kind of talk about it beforehand just so you guys know what I'm doing, what I'm using and stuff like that. So anyways, yeah, I always get questions about my nails, if they're real or not, if I do them myself or if I get them done, um, how I keep it healthy and stuff like that. And I'm going to show you guys what I do. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with just, you know, if they're real or fake. My nails are real. <laughs> There's no acrylics on this. And yeah, it's just my real nails. I've had, I haven't had acrylic in like forever. I used to do acrylics all the time. You guys know, I'm sure. Um, but I gotten to a point where I'm like, I don't want to do that. I know I can grow my nails. So I just, you know, I kept up with the acrylics, but I always tell my nail technician not to file it down too much just so my nails underneath would be healthier and not so brittle once the acrylic is off. So he never really filed down my nails. He would just kind of clean it out and then, you know, fill the rest with just the gel or the acrylic, if you know what I mean. So yeah, and then he just kept, you know, doing that until it comes off and then here we have it. My nails were not brittle whatsoever once I got the acrylics all off. I'm very happy with how they turned out and you know, they feel very thick. They don't bend or anything like that. Um, they don't really break. The last time um, I broke a nail was a while ago and that was because we were moving, you know, packing and lifting heavy boxes and stuff like that. Of course, you're going to break a nail because you're not really paying attention, if you know what I mean? So that was that. Um, but yeah, this is what they look like. They're pretty good. My hands are a little dry, but yeah, that's just what my nails looks like. I'm very proud of them. They're not like amazing or perfect or anything, but... To me, it's good enough. <laughs> so I also do my nails like every week. I can get away with doing like every two weeks, but I like to do it every week just because, you know, it's kind of like me time and, you know, pampering yourself. And plus, it's always nice to have freshly polished nails. You know what I mean? All right, so now onto the things that I use for my nails. So the first thing that I do, you know, to take all of these off, I actually use this acetone right here. And this is 100% pure acetone. It's probably not the best, like the healthiest thing to use for your nails, but I like it because I only need like one cotton ball for this hand and another one on this hand to completely take everything off. Like this thing will definitely take anything and everything off. So I love it. A little bit goes a long way. And I've had the same bottle since mm, two years ago. So yeah, I don't go through a lot of this. So once all the polish is off, I like to go over it with this nail polish remover. Now it's from the same brand, but as you can see, this one's purple. This one is the moisturizing formula. I like using this just because, you know, with this, it really dries out your hand because it is 100% you know, pure acetone. <laughs> so it dries out my hand a little bit. Um, so what I like to do is once that I, you know, I'm done using this and all the polishes is off, I like to take a brand new cotton ball and soak it with this, not soak it, but like, you know, get it a little wet or whatever. And I like to just kind of like, I don't know, go over my nails again. And it kind of gives my nails, you know, more moisture and kind of cleans it off a little bit more. And then once I'm done with that, I like to go in with my nipper. I call this nipper. I don't know what they're really called. What do you guys call this? In the Philippines, we call it nipper. And I get mine from TJ Maxx. It's like two or three dollars, definitely super cheap there. Don't go to Walmart. This is like $10 at Walmart. I'm like, what? But yeah, TJ Maxx is like two or $3 or something. Super cheap. So that's where I get mine. And I use this to push my, see, I don't even know the terms. Um, the, the cuticles, the cuticles on my nails. I like to push it because they do grow a little bit too much into my nails. I don't know. I don't like the look of it. So when it's wet, when the cuticles are wet with this, I like to just kind of like push the cuticles back and some of them lifts up and that looks gross so I will cut it off with this. You guys will see when I do it in the video. It might look gross to some of you but that's just what I do and then once I'm done with that I will go on ahead and um, 
file my nails if I need to and I just have you know normal nail filers this comes in like a set from TJ Maxx super cheap like two dollars for like a set of six or something so definitely inexpensive um and yeah I guess file away and if you're wondering my nails are kind of like this almond shape I like to keep them not too pointy because you know I don't want to scratch someone um so I do round it a little bit I find that I like the shape better for my hand I just I guess feel more feminine and I like how it looks. I used to have just uh, square nails, kind of like rounded square type of nails, you know, like when you get your nails done. Um, I tried that out again, like after having this nail and I just didn't like it. I felt like I had kind of like manly hands. I don't know. This feels more feminine to me and I think it looks better for my hands. So it's just how I shape it. Um, I will go on the sides just to make sure, you know, it's kind of like a straight... Um, not too skinny, um, but just like the perfect straight shape, if that makes sense. And then I will curve it in. So you guys will see how I file it in the video. Once I'm done filing, I like to go in with this kind of nail filer. Um, it's like a buffer type of thing. So I will go ahead and like buff it a little bit, not too much because you don't want to uh, take off too much of your nails and then have it so like thin, you know what I mean? Like too, too brittle or something. So I guess like to buff it just so it's nice and smooth. And once I use the black, I will go in with this side to make it really nice and smooth. Okay, now once that's done, I will go on again with a new comb ball with this guy just to like really take all that off, make sure that it's all clean and nice and ready to go. And then I go on ahead and wash my hands with soap and water. After that is, you know, the time that I polish my nails. Um, so the first thing that I do before I go in with nail polish is I put a primer on or a base coat. Um, I love this guy right here. This is from Essie. This is the Ridge Filling Base Coat. And I love that this dries super fast. It kind of gives a little bit of a color, kind of like a really, really off white color on your nails. Not, not white, but just like an off nude type of color. I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's really nice. And what it does is it really smooths out your nails. Like my nails are not perfect. My left side, I feel like is really nice and smooth without the ridge filling from Essie but um, my right hand I feel like I do have some bumps in there and I can get rid of that if I file down my nails a little bit more but I don't want to do that again because I don't want my nails to be brittle so I only file it a little bit and then I go in with this and this guy will make it smooth so if you have like little cracks on your nails or like divots or something and you don't want to file it down because you don't want your nail to break or to be too brittle I really really recommend this I love this guy even if my nails aren't you know cracked or I don't know have divots or bumps or whatever I will still use this this is like my favorite favorite kind of base coat so yeah it's just from Essie and I got mine from like Walmart or Target so I guess do one coat of this if it's really bumpy then I do another coat no big deal it dries super fast and once that's all dry I go in with a coat of nail polish so whatever polish I have I usually use Essie or Butter London those are my two top favorites I love them because they dry super fast and you only really need one one to two coats for the polishes to be opaque so I love that it dries really fast so I will only do one coat first and then I will let that completely dry once that's completely dry I like to go in with a brush now this brush right here I got from it's an actual like paint brush set from Walmart and I don't know I just grabbed this one and it's a small one like this so it kind of looks like a an eyebrow brush or something like for your eyeliner or something I don't know but yeah this is just from Walmart like a normal paintbrush and I will dip this in acetone the 100% pure acetone and I will just dip it a little bit and then you know tap off just so it's not like dripping and then I will go in to my nails to make sure that you know my polish is you know not all over my cuticles you know it gets to clean up so that's what I do this is the guide that I use I love this. If this thing dies, I'm gonna go purchase the whole like 
paintbrush set just so I can have this again because this is like amazing. Again, this is from Walmart and I'll have like the uh, the brand written down below if you gotta have the same one. <laughs> so yeah, I just do that to clean up my nails. And then once I'm all done cleaning up, I go in with a second coat of polish. And then, you know, I go in and clean again once it's all dry. You don't want to do it when it's wet because you might move the polish around and then have it kind of smudge, you know? So you want to wait till it's all dry before you start cleaning up your messes. And then the final thing that I do is the top coat. Now, this is the top coat that I always, always use and seriously, like, hands down my favorite. I love it so much. It is... Dun, 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 dun. This is from Sasha Vite. It's the Dry Fast Top Coat. I get mine on Amazon and it's two for, I think, it was either $8 or $11. Definitely inexpensive because if you get this in stores, like at Walmart or like CVS or something, it's freaking $10 just for one. But on Amazon, you get two for the price of one. I was like, what? How does that work? So I always get mine on Amazon. I'll have a link for you down below. I love this top coat. Again, it dries super fast. And what I love about it is that it makes my nail feel thicker than it is. So, you know, like with this guy, it already kind of makes it feel thicker just because it is like that filler type of um, base coat. So like with the polish and then this on top of it, oh my gosh, my nails feel like thicker and it's amazing. I love it. And I like how it kind of... It looks shiny, you know, um, it's just, it's just nice. I love this a lot. And again, my nails, this is after like a week and a half. So really I can go another week with this because nothing is chipped or anything like that. So it still looks good. So yeah, I highly recommend this top coat. I think it's amazing. You know, it keeps my nail polish looking good um, for weeks on end. And plus it dries super fast. Like it dries within like two to five minutes. I'm like good to go. I'm like doing whatever I want. So I love it a lot. And that is pretty much it, you guys. That is my nail routine. I hope I answered everyone's question. That is seriously all I do for my nails. I do not use the nail clippers. Uh uh. I will not use nail clippers to cut my nails or to even like reshape it. I will never do that. I always just use a nipper just because I feel like this you get more precise. And I find that when I use nail clippers, it tends to like, I don't know, like it cracks my nails where I don't want it to. It just breaks my nails and it doesn't look good. So I never use nail clippers. I always use nippers or whatever you call this. <laughs> I think that's about it, you guys. I don't know what else to say. This is literally everything that I use. I keep it all in this Jouer box that I have. It all fits in there. And you know, like all of this fits in here and I just grab this and I sit down and do my nails. And yeah, that's really all I do. I don't do any weird type of routines to make them grow or whatever. They just I just kind of let them be, let them grow. I always make sure to use a base coat because I feel like whenever I don't use a base coat, my nails tend to look yellow and it looks gross to me. My polish don't look as good or feel good. So yeah, always, always use a base coat. That's like my number one, um, what's it called? That's like my number one tip is always use a base coat. So yeah, I think that's it. I hope this was helpful, I don't know, but that is what I do. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this. I will have everything listed down below that I mentioned. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it as a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!